The time is 1 p.m. and I welcome you to PMB's 1 o'clock news updates. I am Idris Amina. On the news at this hour, Nigerian youth in awe as a Nigerian education loan fund has approved the disbursement of student loans to successful applicants. The institution held its inaugural board meeting on Wednesday, marking a milestone in its mission to support students with financial aid. Under the leadership of its chairman, Mr. Jim Ovia, the board approved the immediate disbursement of student loans to successful applicants. The meeting, attended by the funds management and representatives of members' organizations, also laid the groundwork for future initiatives to enhance educational opportunities and support students across various disciplines. The approval of the loans by no funds signifies a step towards empowering the next generation of leaders through education. The domestic crude oil supply crisis that recently led to accusations and denials in the oil sector may warrant an investment plunge in the industry. Operators declared on Wednesday, according to operators at the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the crisis may damage the confidence of international oil companies and investors in refineries. This came as a section of the 650,000 capacity Dangose Petroleum Refinery caught fire on Wednesday, sparking reactions on the internet as videos of the incident went viral. The management of the facility, however, allayed fears about the incident as it stated that the situation had been put under control, adding that no one was harmed by the fire outbreak. Communities in the Niger Delta have threatened to cripple oil production in the region if the federal government continues to remain adamant over the growing clamor for the release of the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazi Namdi Kanu. Kanu has remained in a solitary confinement at the Abuja headquarters of the Department of State Services, DSS, since his extraordinary rendition from Kenya in June 2021. Speaking under the ages of Association of Niger Delta Upland Communities, the oil-rich region called on the federal government to quickly initiate moves for political solutions to Kano's matter. The association, in a statement signed by its president, Isa Mohammed Ubiri, and Secretary Wisdom Oteyi, respectfully threatened to stop oil production in Niger Delta until Kano, who it said is unjustly persecuted, is released. Now to the foreign space. Russia suffered political, financial, and judicial blows, but Ukraine's battle on the Eastern Front remains difficult. The state has suffered multiple diplomatic and judicial blows during the past week over its war on Ukraine. Despite President Vladimir Putin's high-profile visit to North Korea and Vietnam, and Moscow's claims that it is found in a Eurasian security architecture that will replace the discredited Euro-Atlantic security arrangement, Putin signed a comprehensive strategic treaty with Northern Korean leader Kim Jong-un on June 19, incorporating what he said was a defensive alliance. South Korea's government condemned the agreement. Its national security advisor, Chang ho Jin declared that Seoul will reconsider lifting a ban on arms supplies directly to Ukraine. Until now, South Korea has only sold weapons to Ukraine's allies. In sports, Chelsea are admirers of Nottingham Forest centre-back Muruo and have reportedly formulated an ambitious plan to beat Liverpool to his signature. The 21-year-old signed for the Tricky Trees last summer for the £11 million and is considered one of the best young defenders in the Premier League. Murillo is a vital cog in Nuno Espirito Santos squad. Still, Forest could reportedly be forced to sell a key player as they are under pressure to comply with the Premier League's profit and sustainability rules. Reports suggest that Forest would have to reconsider offers in the region of £40 million for Murillo in the next few days. This has caused the attention of Liverpool, who are big admirers of the defender. The Reds are reportedly considering a move for Murillo this week. On the other hand, Chelsea are doing all they can to win the race for the Forest star and could even offer two players in a swap deal for him. Thank you very much. I'll be back shortly with the 3 o'clock news update. I remain Idris Amina.